Miami is kind of a natural laboratory for Aedes aegypti. It's the mosquito that spreads dengue, zika, chikungunya, yellow fever. It's an urban mosquito. It's a bit of a human parasite. It just loves us and follows us around the globe. Mosquitoes are responsible for more than 700,000 deaths every year, right? So, and genetics has only just begun in this mosquito. We want to understand how mosquitoes are drawn to us. That's the most important question, really. And then how they can be kept away. There are kind of two ways to keep mosquitoes from people. If, you know, you don't kill them. Like, let's say you keep them alive, right? You can make people disappear. Or you can create an odor that they hate, that scares them away. I'm working on developing a life-saving perfume by understanding how mosquitoes sense the world. If we understand how mosquitoes are attracted to us, we can design chemicals that block those receptors. If we understand how mosquitoes are repelled by us, we can design chemicals that activate those receptors. Now, using genome editing, we can target just one specific gene and we can knock that gene out or change it in all sorts of ways. We use this technology called CRISPR-Cas9, which is basically, it makes you take an RNA and it guides the nucleus to a specific site in the genome and then it makes a cut. And from there, you can do all this other magic. We decide we want to knock out a specific gene, we want to remove its function. It takes probably us, you know, a few months to get the mutant. We do different steps to make sure that this mutation is only affecting that gene and not other genes. So we do some crossing and we have some standard behavioral tests that we do. And then we get into figuring out whether they like humans. It's a little bit of a gene by gene process. And that is one of the most important techniques of genetics. It's sort of like the core of genetics.